just one of thousands of types of living things that make up our unique Ithaca community. And our human communities depend on natural communities to support us and keep us strong. For example, the oxygen we breathe comes from the plants in our environment. Our water is kept clean by helpful bacteria that break down waste and maintain a healthy watershed. And our landscape is truly beautiful because of all the living things that inhabit it. Because natural ecosystems are so important to all of us, we all need to help take care of our environment. You can begin by getting to know the things that live in your backyard, your neighborhood, and at your school. Hey Ingrid, what you doing? Oh hi Alex, I'm trying to figure out what this flower is. I've got an app on my phone called iNaturalist. I can take a picture of just about any living thing and iNaturalist will help me identify it. Whoa, nice. How does it do that? I can upload a photo and then there are two ways to ID the species. First, iNaturalist has plant recognition software that will suggest an identification and show me a selection of similar looking species to choose from. Once I've made a guess, or even if I really can't tell, the iNaturalist user community steps in with community identifications. User community. So does that mean that there are other people using iNaturalist who know a lot about plants and animals and they can help me identify my flower? Yep, it's a great way to get expert help. It works because people are passionate about this stuff. One of the things I love about iNaturalist is that both beginners and professionals use it. Okay, so it looks like this is an evening primrose. And wow, there's a map that shows me where I found this flower. This is really fun. Once you start to document the species that live around your town, you've become a citizen scientist. And you can join up with other community members to participate in events like a BioBlitz. A BioBlitz is a 24-hour hunt to identify species. Lots of people organize them, and it's really fun when a big group of people is making a mad dash to find as many organisms as possible within 24 hours. In Ithaca, the Cayuga Nature Center has a year-long project of social distance bioblitzes, one in each season. All you have to do to participate is to take pictures of things wherever you are on the day of the BioBlitz and upload them to the BioBlitz project. When you take a good look around, you'll probably find that the city is home to lots of things you might never have expected to see. And biodiversity, especially in the city, is really important. A natural community with a broad variety of plants and animals makes a healthier environment for humans to live in. Soil organisms break down toxic chemicals, plants help limit flooding, and trees cool the city in hot weather. Cayuga Lake and its healthy ecosystem creates a stable microclimate for us and for agriculture. And sharp-eyed citizen scientists are essential to maintaining thriving natural ecosystems. Did you know that it was a student who first spotted the invasive plant hydrilla in Cayuga Lake? All right, Alex, I think we're ready to join the next social distance bio blitz. Have you got the info on your phone? Yes, the next one is the Fall Bio Blitz. It's October 10th and 11th. So how many other species of living things do we share Ithaca with? Help us find out. Join our community of observers. You can start right now and help us document and care for the biodiversity of our neighborhood. <laughs>